Hey guys, King of the North here, back with some more Chrono Trigger. <clears throat> Last episode, we traveled down to the underwater palace and trying to stop the Queen now from using the Ammon machine from waking up Lavos. And we just happened to stumble upon either Mass or Moon here. Let's see what he has to say. The ancient red rock has been passed down through the ages. From it, a magic pendant and a knife were made. We embody Melchior's dream, sealed within the knife. Now hurry, if you plan to confront the queen, we're counting on you. You're teleported. Ah, I can feel it. The pulse of eternal life. Ha ha ha. The dark force. Wild energy. Ugh. Prophet. Getting more concerned. The, the mammon machine, your majesty. It's too dangerous. Mother. Don't stop, Shala. We're almost there. Immortality will be ours. Zeal will have the glory it deserves. Waha. Too long have I waited. She looks like, uh... That witch from the Power Rangers. Anyway. <clears throat> head down these steps. Uh, looks like we have another one of these. Fights with the... Genie guys. They... Now they're not rotated this time. I don't think they are anyway. Yeah, we're good. Okay, now we just burn this guy down. Six hundred and seventy nine experience. Gonna level up. Uh, going to save real quick. Okay. Still lavas beckons. And we're in that room we saw before. But this time we're on a bridge. So I probably should have built up here. Going to burn these down individually. Uh, actually, I need Luca to do a physical attack on this. Hopefully, she can finish the mage off. And I will have Marl use another ice on this guy here. And then Chrono will use lightning too. still has the golden stud on. Alright, gonna pause this. Don't need to see it again. Alright, that fight did not go as clean as the first time, but we are going to activate this right here and descend. And this will be a series of three fights. It's better to take out the genies here first. Shields destroyed. 
I want to check something real quick. I'm hoping this just wipes these guys out. I have no idea if it's gonna work or not. They could heal and they could be you know, immune to lightning damage, we'll see. Okay, that should finish those guys off without a counter. Okay, so that's an efficient way to do that fight. I don't know what the other two look like. Okay, I'm uh, gonna do the same thing actually because we have lightning flyers here. And this should be the last fight, and this is a little bit more difficult because you have to be a little bit more technical with how you handle these. things to take care of here. I want to go off to the side. I want to take out this group. Fortunately, I brought the optimal team to take care of this. this switch, then run to the other side, go to this door, and we have another switch. We also have three more of these scouters. Lightning on the yellow, ice on blue, and fire on the red. And this is doable with other teams, it's just uh, more efficient this way, uh, less time consuming. Alright, hit this switch. narrow pathway. Usually this is like a pathway to something serious. Usually these are long straightaways. Uh, and here we have a save point. One elixir. Uh, first I'm going to save. And then we will use a shelter here because we have plenty. Top everyone off. Okay. So up ahead is an interesting uh, boss fight. Uh, there's, it's tough because depending on how the beginning part of it plays out, and I'm gonna see if I can do something to kind of limit the lethalness of it. I don't think it'll work because of how it all plays out. 
uh, you can absolutely uh, just get wrecked, wrecked here without any any chance. Um, where's that? You know what? Actually, cannot equip. I doubt Luke is gonna be able to equip it either. No, it's unfortunate. Anyway, um, yeah, depending on how this plays out in the beginning, uh, you can totally get bombed and have to start over no matter what. Like, there's nothing you can really do about it because of the speed in which the fight plays out. But here is Dalton again. You made it this far. Maybe I underestimated you. But this is the end. We will take care of you. Come, Golem Twins. Now, you remember how difficult the first Golem was? Now there's two of them. So they're going to have this ball that they drop. It does half your HP. It doesn't matter how, mu how much HP you have. It's, it's always doing half. So being super powered doesn't do much for you, but there is a way to manage this fight. And it all comes down to uh, having at least two people alive. Uh, lightning 2. So as soon as you hit with Lightning 2, um, you want to hit with another spell. Because it causes them to swap their techniques. And now with Chrono, I am actually going to swap down to his super powerful move. Now they're on fire. Uh, and I'm going to use the Luminaire here. So if you don't swap different magic, they will keep spam casting a spell on you or using the iron balls. I think they stop using the iron balls after you use magic, so they, they start out as physical, and then they pick up whatever magic you use, and because there's two of them, they both go one after the other, and they will essentially one-shot your entire team because it's all AoE damage, and they put out a ton of damage. So see how like low moral and Luke are because of the iron balls at the very beginning? It'll wipe them out. So the whole thing here is by using a different technique, or elemental technique, it causes them to reset. And that's the way you're supposed to do this fight. As you see, one of the magics got off. Mainly because I didn't, I wasn't timing it super well. <laughs> but um, now that they usually want to give it a little bit of time, so you can, you know, space out things a little bit better. But because I have three people up right now, I'm not super worried about um, timing. Whereas if one of them, if one person got double hit with the iron balls in the beginning, and then somebody else got hit. Uh, or they used their other ability, it would wipe somebody out and you'd only have two people. So, the um, copying Dalton is the end of the fight. So basically you have to survive long enough to be able to withstand the two burps at the end. Luca leveled up. They beat the Golem Twins. Alright, this calls the golem boss. Uh, I'm pretty sure they were a boss. What's this strange force? Could this be Lavos' energy? I've got a bad feeling about this. All my work will be in vain if I expire before I'm immortal. This is your lucky day. Bye-bye. Okay, we'll head back. <clears throat> don't worry, you don't have to redo that fight. <laughs> uh, gonna use a shelter. And then we'll proceed into the next room. Boy, there's a new... 
This is the hall of the Mammon Machine. Now is the time to turn back. Ew. And he jumps to his death. Here we are. Shala. We're here to save you. Come on. We just made it in time. It's a pity, but I'll have to turn this machine off. So, Luca's fascinated by it. You're... Help! Shala. What are you doing, Shala? I need your help here. Chrono, the red knife. Quickly, Chrono, there's no time. And Massa says, Here we go, Mune. Ready, big brother. So I guess this is essentially the creation of the Massa Moon. The machine's energy changed the knife into a sword. The, the Mammon Machine. It's coming. No, no, stop! The sword alone can't stop it. Lavos has arrived. Destruction rains from the heavens. And that's a one shot. I've waited for this. And that's Magus. I've been waiting for you, Lavos. I swore long ago that I'd destroy you, no matter what the price. It is time to fulfill that vow. Feel my wrath, Lavos. What do you think you can do? Hm. A false prophet. You'll be a snack for the great Lavos. Mother, please stop. This power can only end in ruin. Get away from there, Shala. The almighty life force of Lavos lives in all of us. You are part of it. You cannot change fate now. Oppose me and I will destroy you also. Help! Come, Prophet. Feel the power of Lavos. Ugh. Ugh. My powers are being drained. Ugh. I won't be beaten. I think it's a little too late for that. I survived the darkness to defeat you, Lavos. Take this, Lavos. What? Does it work? Foolish one. Your measly power can't touch Lavos. This is from me to you. You shall enjoy eternal life as part of Lavos. <laughs> Can you move, Chrono? Please help Shala. Uh, are you alright? At this rate, we'll all... Uh, Shala, are you alright? And we'll talk to Shala here. I can. Haven't given up yet? What do you hope to do? You challenge Lavos with that battered body of yours? Mwahaha. <laughs> See the power of Lavos, and feel his wrath. Chrono. Stop, Chrono.
And as Magus said, one among you will shortly perish. Chrono. Chrono. I can't beat him. Lavos. Chrono. Where's Chrono? No! Chrono, there was nothing I could do. The last of my pendant's power will send you to safety. I know you can't forgive her, but please don't hate my don't hate mother or our kingdom. I'm so sorry. Now off you go. Chrono. Death Star. land falling into water is never a good thing. A tidal wave. Hmm. Uh, Chrono? Chrono. Hold it, Chrono. Chrono. Chrono? Um, you're awake. You were delirious. Chrono, where's Chrono? We only... We, we found no one else. So it wasn't a dream. Where are we? Is this the Earthbound Village? This island was the only refuge left after the Ocean Palace disaster. This is so depressing. No era is safe, and there isn't much of a future to look forward to. Melchior. Where's Melchior? When the disaster struck, an eerie black portal, portal materialized. Elkir tried to save Janus, but he was also dragged in. A black portal? The gate! What about Shala? I don't know. No one has seen her since. Epoch. What happened to it? Your ship is quite sturdy and safe. It's almost as if it followed you here. Chrono. Tomorrow. If Epoch is okay, my gut tells me that Chrono is too. Oh, this must be yours. 
My pendant. The one Chrono held for me. Young lady, I found it on you, your shoulder, almost as if it were guarding you. Chrono. Take all the time you need to rest. I will be in the commons. Well, guys, uh, it is sad to say, but Chrono is gone. Uh, for now, I am going to roll with this party here. Uh, I like the fact that Robo can tank a bit. He's got 685, and he has decent melee damage. He also has some heals to pair up with Marl. So this is who we are going to go with. In the absence of Chrono... Robo will take his place. And we now control Marl. Well, guys, a uh, bit of a sad episode, but I hope you still enjoyed it. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you all in a different time. Peace.